<laughs> and welcome back. Diane Guerrero likes to mix it up. She has kept us on our toes as Maritza in the hit comedy Orange is the New Black. And you may recognize her as Lena as the sassy best friend in Jane the Virgin. Now she's in the new series Doom Patrol based on the DC comic about a group of misfit superheroes. She plays Crazy Jane. Young woman with 64 different personalities. And one of those personalities is very excited to meet another member of the team. Check it out. Jane? I wouldn't. Oh my gosh. I know who you are. You're Cyborg. Oh. Of course she does. And the flesh. And you are? A baby doll, duh. I'm your biggest fan. You are so. So cool. Way cooler than the Flash. <laughs> you want to know a secret? He's not even that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, good morning to you. So here's the thing. You play 64 characters. Is it true that you were only told about seven of them in the audition? <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they only told me seven. And then all of a sudden, I show up to work, and they're like, it's 64. <laughs> like, Fantastic. That's great. How do you do that? I don't even think I know 64 people. I don't know how <laughs> you can do 64 different personalities. Well, I haven't done 64 in for this first season, but mm -hmm. I'm hoping that we get there. That that would mean more seasons and, and more time to develop mm -hmm. this character. Um, mm -hmm. Well, I have a lot of help. I have a great acting mm -hmm. coach, and I have a great support system. The yeah. cast and crew are just so passionate about the show. So. Mm -hmm. It's been a wild ride. It's been do, great. Do you have a favorite personality to play so far? Oh my gosh! Sometimes I say baby doll because I like to be a baby, <laughs> and I think then that's just weird and it just co complicates things. But it's things. allowed when it's a character. <laughs> right. So. Right. Um, I like Jane. I think she's like I think she's like a oh more subdued God. version of me. And sometimes I, I wish I could just are. take it back a so notch. <laughs> you know, this is this is also yes. fascinating. I think for a lot yeah. of folks because this is one of those shows where superheroes are flawed. Mm. Yes. Why is that such an important message? Well, I mean, I think that as average people, we should look at ourselves as heroes, mm -hmm. right? And when, when we really think about it, and I think that sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves and we don't realize that we have certain traumas that we have to work through and it doesn't mean that we're bad people. Mm -hmm. And so I think that the, care, the, the kind of study that, uh, like there's, a, there's a, a lot of character study here, um, more so than fighting and sort of saving people, it's you're saving yourselves. Mm -hmm. And they're sort of helping each other through that. Um, and, you know, you can imagine people that have mental health issues and then add on superpowers, and it's mm -hmm. just a mess, as yeah. you can imagine. <laughs> One of the things I, I've heard that you had to work through, your older brother deported, yeah. along with your... My family, my entire family. When you were 14. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How has that shaped you? How does that shape you? Um, well, I mean, I've, I've had a lot of ups and downs, and, um, but it certainly has strengthened me and uh, made me super empathetic with, with people around the world that, that suffer, especially people that have been separated through deportation. And that's why I'm so passionate about telling my story um, and letting people out there who are going through the same thing that they're not alone. Mm -hmm. And so the message is continue educating ourselves and others, our communities, and continue on the path of participation so that we can achieve this kind of, <laughs> uh, so we can achieve some change and whether that's immigration reform, yeah. a path to citizenship, uh, family reunification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You actually wrote a memoir, In the Country We Love, My Family Divided. Mm. Kind of talks about that experience. Why did you want to put it on paper and, and have people know your whole story? <laughs> well, I don't think it started that way. I think mm. I wanted to be a part of something. I was desperate to share my story because I had so long I had been silent about it and I felt like I wasn't doing any good, especially with this like new platform that I had um, being an actor and being in the public eye. And so mm -hmm. I was being asked a lot more questions about who I was and I felt like I felt the need to talk about something important. I love that right. you're so much more than an actor. So good to have you. Thank you. Come back. Thank you. Do I would love back. to. Doom Patrol streaming now only on DC Universe. We'll be right back. Thank you.